I fight against this 1% win rate person a lot. I wonder, are they Control Warrior? We'll keep a Recon. Recon's very good in this deck. Hmm. I think we're gonna wait to get some null discounts. Rather than just play Splash Burglar now. So we have a null discount of one. This is two, three. Hmm. Coin. Yep. Uh, this first. Yes. So friendly with from the depths is pretty gross. Oh boy. That's powerful. Hmm. At least we have Mita. We're safe. I don't know that we're safe anymore. Oh boy. Hmm. That's a good one, at least. Mm. This is... Okay. So I think we actually don't attack this. Oh! That's a weird one, because they can easily get this killed with, like, just, like, a shield slam. And then I maybe lose this. That's real awkward. It's probably my best bet. Oh, it is, is it enemy minions? I thought it was all minions. Oh, it is enemy minions. Okay. You can see how much I played Sigil of Silence. Yeah, Sigil of Flame is all minions. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Basically what I was expecting. Well, how do we want to do this? Like, this is definitely trading here. We know that they have... I think we play Crash first. Actually, I think I do this. It gives me the weapon, too. For one life, basically. Will I play the Brawl Seam? Well, for one, this is literally my first game since the patch. So I didn't want to jump into the Brawl Seam right away. Two, like... I am sick. And, like... Not, like, a hundred percent... Firing on all cylinders right now. So, we'll see. So they have, we know that they have Smite. I think I would rather do this. We're gonna Queen. We're gonna go for the, the Colossal. Look, we could get Ring to double up on Contraband Stash, which is not bad, but this gives us something separate to add to it. We already have Crush and the Mida. And I think a Colossal is better than just getting two of each of those. Maybe it's not. This also improves my future ones, so I think I do want this. Let's uh, hit the fragment. Okay. Shadow Step could also be sick for Ashara, though I don't have that many things to cast into it. We also have the Scabs, which is potentially sick with my Battle Cry stuff. Or adding more things to. Okay. Um. 
Uh huh. There's Tess as well. Okay. Sure. I think I do play this just because I want to set up for Tess and Stash. Not afraid of Brawl? If I get Brawled, I just Tess, Shadow Step, or Contraband Stash. Like, I'm not going to play around Brawl. I'm going to force him to use Brawl. How long has it been since you got your first symptoms for COVID? I, I, like, had a cough on Saturday, but I just assumed that it was from being out in the desert where it's dusty, because I was at EDC, right? Like, so, like, getting congested and getting a cough is, like, very, very common for me when I end up going to, you know, to that event. So I didn't really think anything of it. It wasn't until I got uh, a notification that someone I'd been near tested positive that... You know, I really was, uh, concerned. I think we're gonna play Burglar and Stash here. Emily and Dying is insane with Mita. So currently we're generating five things on the board with our test stash effects. Sigil's actually fine. Sigil's enemy only, apparently. So it's actually insanely good. Oh, look, the, the, the test versus control warrior, you absolutely outvalue them. Like, they can only realistically beat you with ridiculous from the depths curving, burst damage from, like, smite slash galvangar or uh, Kazakhstan cards. Like, they cannot just grind you out. It doesn't ever happen. Yeah, I initially thought this was all minions too when I when I got it off the swash burglar and I was like, oh well, this stinks. It's gonna silence my meta, but it's in, apparently only enemy despite sigil of flame being all. I kind of just want to batch this for a million armor. I know my opponent has a one cost smite and what was the other pirate? I'm just trying to think of like how I can possibly lose and it's just getting like burst out somehow. I don't know that I can think of realistically 31. I'm just doing this. Oh yeah, when I saw that, that all the Thief Rogue cards were being buffed, I was just like, yas. I mean, I have been arguing that Tooth and Nefarian should be buffed for a while. I didn't really expect Wildpaw Knoll or Burglar to be, uh, to be buffed. No honorable kill. I do think that the, uh, the Knoll being fully reverted while buffing other Thief cards is like the most obvious like hey it was secret passage all along like uh message that you could you could realistically see after it was nerfed before but i love it against paladin i think i'm gonna keep extortion in kravatoa kravatoa is so good against uh any kind of minion base deck we have a null too so extortion trading drawing us <laughs> more stuff get that cost down yeah i was also surprised to see the uh harpoon gun getting buffed because harpoon gun was like one of the best cards in those decks already. Tact with the 55 months and Prophet Jonah with the 18 months. Ooh, double null. Oh god. Okay, this is disgusting.
I'm just doing this into this and killing this, I think. We could recon, that would require us to coin. Coin delays our Krabatoa. Oh, boy. So, this is both good and bad. Um, obviously, getting a, you know, this this makes my test insane, because it casts all my rogue cards. The problem is that my rogue cards include a bunch of, like, lower impact things. So, like, sometimes you'd actually prefer not ha casting all your rogue cards just so you're guaranteed to hit a bunch of higher impact stuff. That's a big fella. For instance. Hey, Urbu with the 26 months. We also got code recently. I saw that on Twitter. I hope you're uh, you're doing better. Rude. Well. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. Put your faith in the light. There's no, like blessing of authority or something. We have Brakan to blast them for six and in, in two mana. Okay. Fine. Oh boy. Uh, I didn't even get to do it! We could have, we have two different off-class heroes. <laughs> oh well. We win.